Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 10th of 2024 is titled A Sagittarius Triplet. So what do we see here? Well, looking off in the direction of Sagittarius, which happens to be looking toward the center of our own Milky Way galaxy, and therefore has a lot of stars and a lot of gas and dust and many nebulae in that area. And here we see three of those very prominent ones. And we can start looking towards the bottom towards the lower left. And that would be what is known as M20, or better known as the Trifid Nebula. And that has a combination of three different types of nebulae all put together. And that is the blue of the reflection nebula, the reddish pink of the emission nebula from the glow of hydrogen gas, and the dark nebula, the dark dusty areas that split the Trifid into its distinctive shape. Now, that's not the only nebula that we see here as well. Up and above the center, we see the what is known as M8. M8 is known as the Lagoon Nebula. And we see the large expanse of this nebula here. This is an example of an emission nebula. So it's a little different than just the Trifid, which has different types of nebulae there and has the Reflection Nebula as well. This is missing that, although it does have some dark dust knots within it. And what that means is that it's still forming stars. And those dark knots are things that will eventually turn into stars within the material is still collapsing down and has not yet ignited to form a star. Once it does that, it will start to produce energy and will push that outer cocoon away, making new stars visible. So you can start to see a cluster already dotting around the center of that and stars are continually forming there as well. Now the other nebula that we're looking at is known as NGC 6559 and that's off to the right and you can see there's a dust lane in between that and the Lagoon Nebula. Now again this is another example of an emission nebula. So this is all a whole big star forming region where new stars are forming and all of the coloring that we see associates with that the pink color of hydrogen gas is associated with hot young stars because it takes the energy especially the ultraviolet energy of those hot stars to ionize the hydrogen and cause it to glow its distinct red color. Those same hot stars when when they reflect their light off of dust grains will scatter the blue light much better. So the dust grains better at scattering blue light will give us the reflection nebula that we see in the Trifid Nebula. And of course the darker areas are associated with current star formation. The stars there not yet having fully formed but continuing to condense under gravity and will eventually form new stars in those areas. So that was our picture of the day for July 10th of 2024. It was titled a Sagittarius triplet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.